Hi, it's Van here, the dietologist. This is a quick video about what my clients are saying that they wish they knew before they had weight loss surgery. And the top, um, top one is, I wish somebody told me the surgery is a tool and it's only going to be able to help me about 30% and the other 70% is me working with that tool. And that's extremely true because that's what I, that's my message that surgery supports you approximately 30% in controlling physical hunger. So that's the hunger that you have for survival, the hunger that you have approximately every three to four hours. So when you're having your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now the other 70% is about you working with good aftercare. And what that means is you have to look at weight loss holistically. So you know I I, I say that we've got to look at your nutrition, your activity levels your stress levels, sleep. We've also got to look at your relationship with food and that's the bit surgery isn't going to do. It's not gonna change you. It's not gonna stop you eating when you're bored. It's not gonna stop you eating when you're stressed. It's not gonna stop you eating when you're lonely. Um, so those sorts of things require support, okay, to improve your relationship with food. And that's quite a biggie really, you know, because one of the things that you'll find with weight loss surgery during the honeymoon phase over the first three to six months, everything is great. It looks as if the surgery is doing all the work for you. But then all of a sudden, some of your old habits start to creep back in. And that's why support is crucial in the first year when you're motivated and focused to create those lifestyle changes. And that what that's what lifestyle changes is all about. It's about making micro changes rather than macro changes, which you would have probably tried over and over again before you got to the point of needing surgery. So it's not only about your relationship with food, but it's about feeling empowered, feeling like you're not failing again. It's about changing your mindset. And my job really is to empower you to believe in yourself because if that thought isn't there, that belief isn't there, you're gonna set yourself up for a fail. You know, what you say to yourself is what you manifest. So you've got to be really kind to yourself. And one of the other things that I always stress in my consultations is self-care. You know, that's so important, but women find that so difficult to do. And that's all because that oxygen mask that should be on you is on everyone else. So if you can get some great support to help you for the first 18 months to two years post-surgery. Um, if you want to book in for a discovery call, you're welcome to do that, to find out about my support, but please tap into your support because that's what it's there for, to get you the results that you want. And I hope you enjoyed that short video. If you liked it, please share with your friends and family that have had weight loss surgery, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.